Hi everyone, just a quick little video of Guerlain 2012 Holiday Collection. I just got it tonight, this evening, and I will be preview previewing a few pieces. This is not the whole collection, it is just um, a few pieces. I'm so sorry for the shaky camera. I'm holding a uh, chip nail shaky camera. I'm holding a cell phone with one hand and doing the video with the other, so it's a little awkward and I need to get a better camera. So I'm going to make this really brief. I am going to explain a little bit about the products. I know everyone is dying to see the star of the collection. Um, I have other stars, but I will just say that this one is ready for its close-up. And this is the Pearls du Dragon. I just wanted to say one thing. This collection is the most cohesive collection that I've ever seen from Guerlain. I have seen the butterfly collection and that was beautiful as all the pieces tied in, but this collection is so cohesive if you really understand the meaning and the inspiration from each products. It's it's just amazing products. Um, the collection was inspired by the Lou fragrance, which is a beautiful fragrance. It has a lot of warmth to it and it has a lot of vanilla, a lot of depth. And then also has a hint of bergamot in the beginning. So we'll start with the collection, the first piece, which is the meteorites. And I just did a whole meteorites video, and I hope you liked it. And I've been playing with these. I've been sniffing them. And oh my god, they smell beautiful. All right, first let's talk about the packaging here. First, we have the beautiful Guerlain black and gold, very classic, very elegant. The whole collection is um, really themed about the year of the dragon. That's what the meteorites dragon um, is named for, the year of the dragon. And it pays tribute to the emperor of China. And the symbol um, for the emperor of China was a pearl. So if you think about that, here we are with our pearls. And you can see how that plays into Dragon Balls. So if anybody's born in the year of the dragon, you definitely need these. <sighs> I've been playing with them. They remind me a lot of the um, Pearls du Or um, that I was explaining about last night. They're a little hard. I've been shaking them up, seeing if they're angry. And I'm getting a nice finish, very pretty finish. I'm getting a lot of white and gold to illuminate the skin. Um, a lot of pink and I would say a plum to really bring um, radiance and brighten up the skin. Uh, we'll see. I've been feeling them and there's some hard ones in here. Hard balls, ladies and gents. We do not want hard balls. Well, I guess we do, but... We don't want hard meteorites, okay? So they're really pretty, beautiful, beautiful. And the smell is just amazing. So I hope you can get a good look at them. I'm really sorry, I'm so exhausted. I had planned to really talk about the inspiration for this and it's just falling a little flat. So I hope somebody else does a better job. Okay, so that's the meteorites. So I didn't get the um, Wulong powder, it's the compact powder with the black case. They didn't have that yet. And there's also two lipsticks. One is a deep, beautiful plum, and the other is a sheer gold. I like to call it a lipstick a lipstick top topper. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want to blame it on this? It might be this. It might be the fact that I haven't slept and I'm working hard. Work hard, play hard. Okay. Uh, the gold lips the gold lipstick is a lipstick topper, so it's really sheer. I could see it going over any color lipstick that you want. Blue, red, pink, by itself, put on, you know, a, a lip liner. Gorgeous. And with that, talking about the beautiful lips, let's talk about this calligraphy palette. The calligraphy palette is named Lou, and the inspiration for the palette comes from Asian beauty rituals, which women would um, use different kind of calligraphy palettes. 
and it has all of your essentials in one kit. You know what? People think I'm crazy, but I love, love, love these little dust covers, these little protectors. I know some people throw them away. Okay, first of all, I keep my makeup in boxes. I do. You're going to see a stash collection, and you will see that each one of those products, most of them, 90%, are in a box. I don't know why. It's, it's an obsession. But I love this because it's the black and the red. And then you see um, the Lou in the nice black lacquer and it was inspired by the um, old lacquer cases that held the um, royal jewels and you open it up let's hide that mirror and you will see that you have two beautiful lip shades they are a creamy lip shade um, one they kind of look alike to be honest with you I'm looking at them through the camera and they look a little bit more orange a little bit more warm but in person they're a beautiful beautiful lipstick red then you have three shadows and one black liner the black liner can be used wet as a cake liner you have the appropriate brushes you have a pale gold champagne color shadow you have a warm russet color and then a very warmed gray it is very hard for me to find a gray eyeshadow that doesn't turn blue. And I know many of you have the same um, problem. This is a beautiful gray shadow. I originally wasn't going to get this. Actually, this was thrown in my bag accidentally. I wanted something else from another um, line. And my sales associate put this in. And I'm really glad she did because I probably would have just kind of blown it off. And there you see the Guerlain emblem. The lipsticks are, um, one is matte and one is a little bit more creamy, and then you have that powder liner that you can wet. I think this would give a great classic look. Red, beautiful, pouty lips, and yes, I am going to rock the red lip. The classic wing liner, a little bit of gold shadow. If you want to smoke it out with a little bit of the um, deep gray, like I said, this gray has absolutely, oops, has absolutely no blue to it. And for that alone, I think this palette is worth it. I am a rambling, ramble lama lama a little bit too much, huh? All right, so that is the Lou palette, and we like. Um, the next product is the Guerlain um, for shadow palette and this is really pretty. I didn't think I was going to like this because I skipped out on the fall fauves because it was too warm and red for me and those colors just do not suit me. So I got this palette because I want to be honest with you, I have so many taupes, I have so many purples, I have so many um, blacks and, and just simple colors. This is This is different. This is really beautiful. This doesn't have any special packaging. It just has the Garlon gold packaging, which is nice. It's not a um, brassy gold. It's a nice soft gold. And I'm angling the mirror away from me because we don't want to see my mug. Okay, what's unique about this palette is there is a matte shadow in it, and that is nice. The gold is a very neutral leaning a little bit warm gold. The top color right here is really pretty. It's a, a mauvey, dusty rose. This is a matte, flat, um, I would say a warm to neutral reddened brown. And this is the most interesting complex shade over here. It's just stunning. It is, it is a beautiful taupe. It leans warm. I guess this is a warm palette that I can wear, and that's what I like about it. Just cut and dry. This is a warm palette that I can wear. Very pretty. Very unique. Definitely stands out. I think that I don't can't say that I have too many shadows like this. I go, always go for the same taupey taupes, and this is very unique. I think you guys should pick it up. And it is called... Turnadot, and that is a reference to one of the, I think it's a Pucci opera, or um, something to do with Pucci. Puccini, I'm sorry. You know what? I really should have slept. This is, this is two days up straight. Okay, so that's that.
Blah. All right. The last product that I have until I get the other ones, I, it's one of my favorite. I collect them. I do. I really like them. And that's the loose spray powder. Very pretty. When you see the packaging, it's adorable. It's going to go right in my collection of spray powders. Um, like I said, I love the Lou fragrance because it has the warmth of the vanilla and it also has um, a woody note. It also has a little bit of iris and it has the bergamot. And I love that I can spray this in my hair. I can spray this on my, um, my body. I can use it even on my face. It's gentle enough. I've used the fragrance ones on my face and I've liked them a lot. Um, I like that they really do go for the fragrance bottles. I think it makes it interesting and I can't wait to see what comes next. So I think that is such an interesting concept. Out of the collection, I would definitely get the meteorites because I know everybody's excited for them. They do have a really pretty payoff. Not as shimmery as um, Butterfly or um, Winter Radiance. But I think you would be very happy with them. They're very pretty. And I definitely suggest the, the palette. It's the eyeshadow palette. It's very interesting, very pretty. And I don't know if this is going to appeal to everybody. I think you have to be a little bit of a nut to like this. Um, yes, that's me. I am a nut. I just love all things Golan. And it's just a beautiful line to me. And they really nailed it with being cohesive. Everything suits um, each other. Everything has a theme. Everything has a meaning. And look at this palette again. I didn't think I would like it. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I am. So, thanks for watching. I have Chanel Holiday that I got as well. And I'm probably just going to butcher the whole thing. I should just wait. I am so sorry. This is probably shaky and the quality is bad. But... I think tomorrow, instead of buying cosmetics, as I made it a priority to get cosmetics today, that I should um, really buy a new laptop. Yes, the rumor is going around that I have ruined another laptop, but that's me. I'm a laptop killer. So, thank you. Say hi, wine. Hi, wine. All right. Mwah. Bye.